All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again with this liar himself, Jack Smith. Now, y'all seen the whole thing with Mary Garland, so at this point, it seems like that Jack Smith is not even a special counsel. So, Judge Aileen Cannon finna take that into account on top of Jack Smith trying to get gag orders put on Donald Trump. It failed the first time, and then now he's trying again. He is study, uh, slandering Judge Aileen Cannon because she's calling it right down the middle. She ain't being one-sided like Judge Mershon and Judge Ngoron. She's not being one-sided. She's calling it out on both sides. But Jack Smith and his team want her to be one-sided and just be against Donald Trump. So we definitely got to check this out because uh, Judge Aileen Cannon just got, I mean, Judge Aileen Cannon just questioned Jack Smith. And it does not look good, which make that a huge win for Donald Trump every single time. Because you don't like the fact that you get somebody like Jack Smith that thinks he's above the law and he's not even a special counsel. So it's just a lot of things like that. And Merrick Garland, he constantly lying, but they didn't put him in jail, which he should be in jail. But hey. That's what the Democrats do. They don't want to arrest their side. They just want to go after Donald Trump. So let's go ahead and dive straight into this. Make sure you please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody showing so much support. Shout out to the one that always watches the entire video. I appreciate all of you that do that because it really, really helps the channel out a lot. And it really helped that video get seen by more people. So please continue to watch the entire video. Hit that like button as you're coming in. Subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with everything that's coming out. And uh, without further ado, y'all, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. And I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go to Doug channel and let him know that I sent you. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight to it. Well, welcome. We have a big update on Judge Aileen Cannon down in Florida. There's movement on that. It's, of course, that's an ongoing uh, court case. Um, but she is really pushing back on Jack Smith. In fact, today I'd say she kicked him in the teeth harder than before as far as wow. questioning the viability of his job at the financial level. We have two articles to cover for you, one from CNN, one from ABC. This is enemy territory. That's why yep. I like reading the bad guys' arguments. Welcome to Doug in Exile. My name is Doug Tenapel. I'm the creator of Earthworm Jim, The Neverhood. Cat Scratch. And now I bring you the news happily. Actually, I bring you good news happily. Not only did Jesus die for you, but Trump's probably going to win. How's that for news? Let's go. Here's ABC News. Judge in Trump classified docs case questions government about funding for the special counsel. So that's Aileen Cannon is questioning the very funding of, oh, wait, look, there it is. Okay. Judge in Trump classified docs case questions government about funding for special counsel Jack Smith. That's Aileen Cannon is mm -hmm. putting on a question. Prosecutors, meanwhile, will push for a gag order against Trump in the case. They're going for a third gag That's order crazy. against Trump. Keep trying, guys. Number three is the charm, I'm sure. Maybe now you'll win. Maybe now your corpse Biden that you guys put on a dolly and wheel out. Maybe now he'll win. Maybe if you get a third, maybe a third one's the charm. Third gag order, okay? Here's during two hour meeting Monday morning, uh, the judge overseeing former president Donald Trump's classified documents case pressed government attorneys to provide more information about the funding of special counsel Jack Smith's investigation. That's this morning, guys. This is brand new. At one point, remarking that the funding represents a, quote, separation of powers concern. Mm. Now, Guys, I've never been happier. You know why I love Aileen Cannon, why I really dig her? Is because the elites hate her so yep, much. They've they been sure dismissing do. her as backwoods, yep. Florida. This is her. She's too young. She could have accused herself. And boom, she's now showing she's capable of doing Supreme Court stuff. She's going mm -hmm. in and saying, wait, this represents a problem with separation of powers. Why? Let's go. The hearing conducted by U.S. District uh, Judge Aileen Cannon was a continuation of Friday's hearing in which defense attorneys sought to have the documents case dismissed on the grounds that Smith was unlawfully appointed as special counsel. Now, this is uh, something the attorneys argued. 
I just want to go back again and go back to last week what they've been saying about Aileen Cannon. They're going, she'll just let anyone in to talk. She'll let anyone in on this courtroom Mm -mm. and let them uh, testify. And really, it was Ed Meese, like Reagan's district attorney. They made it sound like it was just anybody off the street. She's bringing in real experts. Let's keep going. Trump pleaded not guilty to 40 criminal counts related to his handling of classified materials after leaving the White House after prosecutors said he repeatedly refused to return hundreds of documents containing classified information and took steps to thwart the government's efforts to get the documents back. Trump has denied all uh, charges and denounced the probe as a political witch hunt, which is all true. Yep. Now, here's here's a uh, judge counsel. Uh, here's a judge. I'm sorry. Judge Cannon said, is there a cap to any of his funding? Let's keep going down. Quote, no. And I think that is part of the reason to be very wary of who could access it and why, Bove said. There's no check on the scope of what's going on here against Trump. There's no limited government. See, the thing is, is that Judge Aileen Cannon know that this is a political witch hunt. She knows exactly what Jack Smith is doing. You want to go after Donald Trump for these these documents, but yet they let Joe Biden walk scot-free and he had documents in his garage. And they let him walk scot-free, talking about he got dementia, he can't remember anything, but yet... You can tell they was trying to help Joe Biden to keep him out of courtrooms, to keep him from going to jail. So they just dropped all of Joe Biden charges. And how can you charge Donald Trump with the same thing you just dropped Joe Biden charges for? And you're saying if you're going to use that Joe Biden has dementia, something wrong with him, he can't remember, then why is he still allowed to be president? I just don't get it. If something is wrong with Joe Biden, why is he still allowed to be president? If that was the case, you drop these charges and you still allow this man to be president. He got so many, so much stuff on him that they ain't putting Joe Biden in no courtrooms. They want to keep putting Donald Trump in there to try to help Joe Biden chances. Just like this debate they got coming up on the 27th. No crowd, Jake Tapper, somebody who does not like Donald Trump, more likely going to be muting Donald Trump the whole entire time, especially when he starts speaking facts. So everything is designed to try to help Joe Biden look good. So that's what I'm thinking is they're going to be muting Donald Trump, Mike, to let Joe Biden say whatever he want to say. See, the thing is, Judge Aileen Cannon know exactly what's going on. She know that now that Jack Smith is not a special counsel. We all just witnessed that. We know that he's a liar. We know that the FBI planted all of that stuff at Mar-a-Lago. We know all of that now. So Jack Smith is the one that needs to be locked up, that needs to be in jail. He's the liar, not Donald Trump. Government going on against Trump. While Cannon appeared skeptical of Bob's arguments at times, including accusing him of doing a, quote, flip-flop on his position about the Uh, independence of the special counsel's office, she pressed assistant special counsel James Pierce about the office's budget. So we're going after the finances of Jack Smith. Mm. Quote, when is it limitless? I think there's a separation of powers concern, Cannon remarked at one point. Okay, that's one article. We're going to get to the other article. That's the big fact of that one. Let's do this one over here. Let's go. This is CNN. Judge Cannon Here's arguments over gag order against Trump in Mar-a-Lago case. What you need to know, today's hearings, Judge Aileen Cannon is back in a Florida courtroom today for two hearings related to Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago classified documents case. Prosecutors are now arguing for a new gag order against Trump, which would be the third such gag order against the former president. Okay, um, and then a morning hearing covered Trump's second attempt to disqualify special counsel Jack Smith, which we support. Yep. Now about the case. The case centers around Trump's handling of classified documents after his presidency and his residence uh, of the government's attempts to retrieve materials he took uh, from the Florida state. He was excused from attending the hearings in person, okay? But we also know that all of this Biden was even more guilty of. He wasn't even president when he took his documents. Yep. 
vice president, sometimes even senator, stealing documents he shouldn't have authority to have. And Trump's biggest crime here is that he didn't return them. But still, we all know what this is, right? This is election interference. This is just exactly what it is, election interference. And then Joe Biden did this while he was vice president, but yet they just let this man walk scot-free after they found his. So I, I, I just don't get You can see the double standard here. You can see it. It's all election interference to try to slow down Donald Trump. But yet, and that's the reason why you've been seeing a lot of Democrats turn on their own side to come join Trump. Because they see exactly what's going on. They're like, hold up. If y'all trying to take Donald Trump down because of these classified documents, why didn't y'all take Joe Biden down if he apparently did the same thing? Why did y'all just drop his case? Because you're saying he got dementia. He can't remember anything, but yet he's still allowed to be the president of the United States. You see, that that right there is exactly what I'm talking about. But the more they go after Donald Trump, they only just hurting Joe Biden even more. Because Donald Trump is still surging in the polls right now. Still surging. And that's what we like. Trying to get Trump tied up in a court case. And they're angry that when they drew the jury, they got Judge Aileen Cannon, this little girl that Trump just now appointed. They're like, oh, no, not Aileen Cannon. We thought we were going to get a Democrat. OK, um, there's Trump juggles campaign and legal. You know, another thing that they said about Judge Aileen Cannon, they were like, oh, why did Judge Aileen Cannon recuse herself? The same reason why y'all didn't ask the question of why didn't Judge Ngoron recuse himself? Why didn't Judge uh, Mershon, why did he, uh, he didn't accuse his, uh, recuse himself? You can, we can ask that same question. Now you want to go out to Judge Aileen Cannon because she's not one-sided, but y'all won't ask that question about Judge Ngoron and Judge Mershon. Why y'all won't ask that question about that? Why didn't they recuse themselves, knowing that they, that, that they did not like Donald Trump? But they stayed there. They never recused themselves. So we don't want to hear that crap about why did Judge Aileen Cannon didn't do it. Battles, we know this. That's what it's all about. Okay. Here's Judge Aileen Cannon uh, indicated Monday she's skeptical of placing a gag order on Donald Trump and asked prosecutors if they wanted to provide more evidence of a former president's words leading to threats. These threats they're claiming are you and I, that it's Trump's followers that are going to perform the damage, which is ridiculous. So this looks like uh, Cannon is not going for it. The hearing is ongoing. Cannon's not expected to rule today. I'll tell you already, she is not going to rule that Trump has to be gag ordered. That's Democrats that are against the First Amendment, mm -hmm. not a normal judge, not a normal constitutional judge like Aileen Cannon. Just so you guys know, we're going to be clear on that. She set a deadline for Wednesday for prosecutors to decide whether they want to provide her more evidence on the record around the gag order issue. Prosecutor David Harbach said the Justice Department will tell the court by tomorrow. So he's uh, maybe more of a delayment, but he, Harbach needs to bring in more evidence saying, do you want, do you want to say anything else? Because I'm skeptical. The judge has said she wants to provide both sides, quote, adequate opportunity to respond, which is always part of the delay strategy, and we approve that. Yeah, yeah, we'll give you plenty of time to respond. Mm -hmm. Each time more evidence about gag orders, threats, and other courts' actions is brought into the Florida documents case. The situation highlights how Cannon keeps allowing hmm. more arguments and more information into the case, often putting off making decisions for weeks. I just want to emphasize this words. This lady, this judge, is for bringing evidence in, yep. for documents in before yep. she makes a decision. That's what a court case is. It's not justice denied. It's being fast-tracked. She's going as fast as she can. And Democrats can't stand that. And that's why we are happy. Give us a thumbs up and a comment if you support Judge Aileen Cannon. I'm Shout out to Doug, man. Like I said, yeah, please hit that thumbs up. Like I said, she caught him right down the middle. Like I said, she's like she's skeptical over what they are talking about. So they see other people putting gag orders on Donald Trump now, and they trying to get a gag order put on. This is just ridiculous. This is the number one president that is running. That's, that's the top president that is running to become president. They trying to put gag orders on him to limit his speech. It, this is just wild. 
It is just crazy that they continue to try to get away with this crap. Hopefully, Judge Aileen Cannon does the right thing and not put a gag order on Donald Trump. For for him to put a her to put a gag on on Trump, but yet Jack Smith is still allowed to say anything and everything that he wants to. It's not right at all. But so far, Judge Aileen Cannon been calling it down the middle, so we can respect that. You know what I'm saying? She's been one of the only fair judges, you know, since Trump been going to court. So, like I said, we shall see exactly what's going to happen. I will keep y'all updated with everything. If you did make it to the end, I really, really appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said before, go to Doug channel. Let him know that I sent you. His channel link will be in the description. All right. And I'll catch y'all next time.